Hello everybody and welcome back to Penta Hybrid Plays Anti-Birth. We are going to be venturing into the new territory. We're going to be venturing into the new territory as Isaac. Starting a fresh zero winning streak. But you know what? It's perfectly fine. It is perfectly fine. Because the whole reason for that ex entire last episode even existing right now has come down to us unlocking the secret exits to the alternate floors, which is perfect. I should maintain a key, if I can get a key, because if I remember correctly, you need a key to get into this, uh, this first entrance, to the first alternate floor, and if I remember also correctly, you need two bombs to get into the second floor. Uh, spoilers, obviously, sorry. Thinking out loud and sometimes thinking out loud turns into turns into bad stuff. I might just save up for a, a tinted rock. I don't know, but I want to open that golden chest. I love golden chests so much. They're always so nice to me. There could even be another key. There could also be an able, which is a uh, is not as good. Are you a will? I, mean, I can promise you right now, Isaac, I am definitely not a wizard. Please, uh, refrain from trying to ruin my life. Just bomb that. Get it out of the way. Give me my tears back. <laughs> Give me back my son! There you go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't fart on me. That's rude. The only, the only, of oh, the only reason you are even able to fart on me is if we've been in a relationship for like five years. I'm just gonna reroll this. Uh, it's not worth it, but God damn it, Penta! I hate myself right now. Started himself on fire, which means he shoots at weird, uh, weird angles. These guys can now start themselves on fire in Anti-Birth. I don't know if that's been shown yet. Well, there you go. There's our first bit of damage. There's our key. This is gonna be real bad. Oh, it's gonna be bad. This is gonna be so horrible. This may very well be the worst fight I've ever had against the Haunt. Including, you know, first time fights against the damn Haunt. Before anybody comments like, well, you know, the only reason you lost the last run is because you had soy milk. No, the reason I lost the last run is because I got a little too greedy with devil deals. There we go. Some quick, easy damage. Haunt, you're being an asshole. I would like very much for you to perish. As in, die. As in, not shoot me with your bullets. Thank you. I might be too slow to pull off that maneuver. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna go so well. I... I am incredibly mad at myself for taking that uh, Thunder Thighs pickup. I am so mad. Oh, boy. I'm not mad, but disappointed. I saw the opportunity. I took it. Welcome to the downpour, everybody. For people who have not seen... Uh, well, there you go. For people who have not seen Anti-Bird before, this is going to be some exciting new stuff for you to see. Have hard heroes. Also, it's very comical that you... Oh, these little guys. I don't have an orbital. I'm, I'm immediately following my last run with the cane. So I keep thinking that I have... Uh, the mom's bracelet along with an orbital, which I do not. This is, this is, this is just the... Perfect representation of Anti-Birth. It is just this first time you see the downpour in the game is so important and it it's just 
It's just so good, really, is what it comes down to. It's just so... Fuck. It's just so good. It really is. It's hard to appreciate it. Oh, dear God, the speed. It's hard to appreciate it properly when I've seen it before, but for the people that are watching that are seeing this for the first time, this is, yeah, this is only the first step of what is to come. Get ready. It gets better. Oh, we have Bucket Boys, too? Oh, this is, this is where everything goes wrong, isn't it? This is where everything goes wrong. Don't you dare throw that poop at me. Don't you dare throw that poop at me, Bucket Boy. Don't dare throw that poop at me. the fact that the guys can skitter along the ground. Oh my god, there it goes. There's our devil deal gone. It's all ruined. It's all going downhill. I'm too slow. Thunder Thighs, why are you so bad? Penta, why are you so bad for taking it? Uh, give me a key? <laughs> god damn it. A key. Any consumable. All these guys. These flies, hub they rotate around you and shoot inward at you. There are some item combinations that make them nearly impossible to kill. Not impossible to kill, but nearly impossible to kill. Uh, luckily, we just have our normal shots here, so it's not the end of the world we ran into them, but they can be minorly frustrating with a... Uh, with certain item combinations of the game. We are not going to win this run. I just want to say that right here, right now, we're not going to win this run. Beelzebub, I skipped the intro. I'm the worst Isaac person. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, oh God. You know, oh, I didn't know that was a bomb rock. I was paying attention to the boss spawning these guys, and then I walked onto it because I am untrustworthy. Quite possibly our worst start since the series started. That's uh, most most likely the understatement of the century. Play-wise, item-wise, you get it. There you go, there's the death. We were waiting for it, let's restart as Isaac. Let's, I've also turned up the, I should have mentioned this last episode, I also turned up the gamma for the people that were saying the game was super dark. It doesn't look dark to me, but you know, I, I want to make the series as enjoyable to watch as it is for me to play for you guys to watch. That was a very bad sentence. Uh, so, I turned it up for you guys. I went up to 125. Uh, I think, hilariously enough, I think because I'm on the Rebirth file, it was all set back to default. And I think I play, played Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus on 125. I'd have to double check, but I don't feel like doing that, so. The leech is not as good. Ooh, Voodoo Pin. This is basically, uh, Varicose Veins. Another item that was, uh, quote-unquote, borrowed from, uh, Antibirth for Afterbirth Plus. If you get hit, you shoot out a giant storm of tears. Balls of Steel's great. Gemini's, uh, decent. Still just, like, not enjoying starting a fresh run without, like, a tears or damage upgrade on the first floor. But because we have this Balls of Steel pill, going down to the downpour is going to be a little easier. We'll be able to use a key to get in there. I would much rather have a key, an extra key, if possible. Quote, unquote, give me latch key, boss. Uh, to, I would actually rather have latch key right now than, like, a fucking magic mush. Just the ability to... The ability to access... Oh, it also gives you a tears up when you get hit. I forgot about that, actually. I forgot about that. I'm getting hit far too much on this goddamn Gemini fight. What is happening to me? You've got a tears and HP upgrade. But unfortunately, not an extra key. Shit. I'm going to clear some more of this floor. Right, you guys are like, probably go down to the next floor. But I don't want to. I need an extra key. An extra key would be great. First key I see, we're leaving. Don't you dare worry. First key we see, we're gone. We are gone straight on out of here. Unless, of course, they don't give me a key. In which case, shit. Oh, there you go. We're out of here. We're not even going to look at the shop. The shop's not worth it. 
This isn't Revelations. There's nothing in the shop that I care about right now. Who's a penny? Lips are super chapped. I should have put some chap stick on before I started this recording. Let's uh, head on down to the downpour. Well, well, but well, far, far, far more better off than we were at the beginning of last run. So this is this is this is where the video is starting for you guys. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Hanson Birth of Me Bedtime. I'm just kidding. You know, if there was a tinted rock for here for you to blow up. A tinted rock for here for you to blow up. I said four way too many times there. My brain kind of died. Uh, for those of you that don't know how anti-birth item rooms work, one of the interesting balance changes is because these floors are super hard, every item room in them is a double item room. And you gotta take hot bombs. You gotta take hot bombs here. Not only for the beautiful fire aura, but also just the fact that hot bombs gives me five bombs and, well, to be fair... Eve's bird is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not. It's not like a shit item like most people like to say it is. But it's it's pretty good. But it's not not the best. Not not the best. Should bomb those. Uh, we got bucket boys. We don't have bucket boys. Ah. Oh. Interesting. Uh, curse of the maze there. Thank you for teleporting me right to the boss fight. And these guys spawn more of them. Uh, by Devil Deal, probably? There's probably not gonna be a Devil Deal here. Don't spawn- don't spawn more of them, you fucking tool! Ugh. Oh, Hot Bombs is not worth losing our Devil Deal game. Do you dare treat me like this? How dare you? Of course, I'm just joking. I go for a secret room. Super secret's gotta be here. Pills, balls of steel, balls of steel. Luck up. Range down. And range up. <laughs> so, pretty much a net positive, if I'm being fair. Uh, in here, a heart and two pennies. You know what? Our secret rooms were very worth it. So hot bombs overall actually worth it. I'd rather skip a devil deal and get like four spirit hearts and a bunch of other shit. So let's go into our boss. Don't skip the intro. It's the Rainmaker. This guy's actually pretty cool. If I remember his uh, his patterns, he does a little twister. He does a little uh, a fan blade thing, I think. Yeah, but he does a fan blade thing. The tears up from Blue Cap is the best thing that's happened on this run. Fuck, the best thing that's happened on this run so far. Uh, aside from that super secret. There it is. Okay, maybe not a fan blade. Maybe that's the wrong descriptor for it. But it looks cool. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, 36% chance of a devil deal. No way in hell. We got another range upgrade. Our range is out of control. We really need to nerf that range. Down port 2. Here we go. Time for things to get even more exciting. Let's see if I can unlock some of the secrets of the downpour. Man, man, just... Like, can every run start me with mom's key? Just like, give me mom's key, and I'll... Give me, let me start with mom's key on every run, and I'll skip my first item room. That was very unfortunate of me to take all that damage right there. I did, I did find myself in a corner, though, so to be fair. Uh, we got a little uh, mop boy here. Trying to run me down. A little tinted rock over here. Remember, we do have small rock now. There's a bomb's key. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get it, though. Shit. Bye! Maybe I'll come back later. RNGs, that's a cruel trick. That's a cruel trick. Oops. Still got Whipworm, though. Whipworm's good. I like Whipworm quite a bit. If Meow Marinus is watching this video, she's probably gonna giggity at that. This is easy. 
I mean, this would have been the hardest room to complete in the world if it wasn't for the range ups, honestly. Range ups really carrying us here. No, 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 no. You don't understand right now, flies. You don't understand, flies. I'm like guaranteed to get a devil deal here anyway because of my HP, but you don't understand. I don't want you near me. Secret! There's no way in hell that I'm gonna make it to the secret. Secret, secret, secret. Because there's like a secret on top of a secret in this in this damn mod. Uh, there's no way in hell I'm gonna make it there on the first run since accessing the secondary floors. Farts. Especially considering I play just awfully in this game right now. I forgot that Voodoo Pin gives you a tears increase upon getting damaged as well. So it's like, again, it's just a better version of what they added into uh, Afterbirth Plus. You know what? Worth it. I'll take that damage. Any day of the week, you give me that damage to kill all that shit surrounding me. That damage, slightly peeved. I haven't gotten our item room yet. I do want to find our item room first. I don't want to find our item room first. There's a battery in the shop. I can reroll it if I need to. That's why BL's a blub. This is the guy that kicked our ass last time. And by kicked our ass, I mean I was bad and he was better. <laughs> and this is what I was talking about. Like, wasn't this worth it? Rather than 45 episodes of me trying to get the freaking access to the anti-birth areas. Very stupid of me. But you know what? The Consolation Prize gave us... I can't even tell what it gave us. I think it gave us a bomb and a damage up? I think it gave us a damage up. I'm gonna bomb into the... Oh, I don't have a second bomb. I'm taking both. I can not take both. I can take both. Oculus Rift Tears. Watch this shit. Oh, yeah. Opens up a portal to hell. So, now we're in an interesting position. Because, hmm, we need another bomb. But oh, bucket boys, freaking bucket boys, man! We gotta be so buckety. You're always so eager to bucket. Nah. Also nah. So gonna go back up to the shop and buy ourselves a battery to reroll that again because those are both bad. Monster Manuel and in, in, uh, Infestation 1 not good. I did just reroll Anemic, right? And I didn't reroll Please don't tell me I rerolled Bloody Lust. That would have been very bad. I think that was Anemic. Don't overspend your bombs. You still need a bomb, you dumbass. Oh, <laughs> The intruder. The the scariest item visual, visualization. There's literally a spider living in Isaac's head, shooting quad shot, slowing tears out. And if you take enough damage, something interesting happens. I'm going to try not to let it happen, but if it does happen to happen, you'll be able to see it. I still need a bomb. I do. I, I am going to be missing out on something from not taking the, uh, the Virgo pickup there. I believe that was Virgo. Uh... There's a tinted rock in there that I can't access. I'll be I'll be missing out on taking the constellation because there is a secret you can unlock by picking up multiple constellations on one run. So welcome to the mines. Mines is a very very badass floor. Super hard. This is a very challenging floor, as you'll no doubt see shortly. Oh, yeah, Oculus Rift just hurt me there. Yeah, see, there it is! There it is! He jumps off and attacks people. Yeah, Oculus Rift is one of those things where it's like... It's like the lodestone from this mod as well, where you just kind of... You love having it, but you gotta stay away from it when you do have it. Really, really bad damage there. 
I could very well die. I just, oh, there was creep. No, there was a floating bullet. There was a single floating bullet. Ah, oh, almost killed me there because it shot a freaking bullet all the way across the room. Oh, I gotta remember which one of these guys. I think the guys that have their eyes shut go in a cross formation. Guys that are, have their eyes open go in a plus sign. Yeah. Two different types of explosive flies there. Please just do not die. It won't be the end of the world. It would be a good showcase of these first couple secret floors. Tinted rock. Yes. I don't have a bomb. Shop. Soul heart. We've already seen the, the, the pin cushion or whatever you want to call it. I should buy the bomb, but I might save up for the battery, but I want the bomb. And I can also show off potentially the new, well, small, I'm not going to complain, honestly. I was going to show off a new tinted rock uh, mechanic for the people that don't know the, the mod all that well. There is a new tinted rock mechanic in the game. Uh, but honestly, you guys are gonna have to learn that later because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bitch about getting small rock here. Small rock could very well be the one the the start of a snowball. So these guys go in an X pattern. Yes. Tinted rock. I love the mine so much. I love the mine so much. We've gotten here. Tough love is great. Now we just need to, or maybe not focus on getting our luck up, but we know luck pills are in our rotation. We just got one. If we can get our luck to eight, we are going to have basically times four damage. Which, theoretically, is the highest damage multiplier in the game, but because it's not actually a damage multiplier, it's not countered in the multiplier pool. But tough love is, if you get really, really technical, <laughs> if you get really technical, uh, Tough Love is the highest damage multiplier in the game. We can go back to that Tinted Rock. But do I want to? Yeah, we're gonna go back to that Tinted Rock. Depending on how far away it was. Oh, it's so far away, isn't it? Oh, it's so far away, isn't it? Oh no, Penta, it's all the way up there next to the item room, isn't it? Oh, this was a bad decision, wasn't it? This was a bad decision. Was it in here? Please be in here. Oh, it's in here, thank you. I, I, new, new mechanic? Yeah, look at him, look at him. The, t the, the soul hearts that pop out of them are spiders. Which is a great mechanic because it teaches you to always be aware of your surroundings because shit will try and kill you even if it's stuff you're normally used to being awesome. Oh my god, I got a tinted rock. I can blow it up and get a soul heart. But what if the soul heart came to life and killed you? Yeah. It's killer. I might go in that curse room. Oh boy, that was 100% that was my bad. I looked at that guy and I was like, Hmm, how can I minimize damage here by walking into the spider? Yeah, that's Penta. That's Penta in a nutshell. Kirkhorn, great pickup. Tough Love, great pickup. Small Rock, great pickup. This has been an overall very, very positive floor. Freaking lava, lava worms. Don't actually know their names. They shoot red candles at me, and I don't like it when enemies have access to red candle. Hell, half the time, I don't even like it when I have access to Red Candle. That's a lie. I was trying to make it believable so that they wouldn't bother me. It's really neat having them shoot those Red Candle fires at me, because it's like, it makes you think about, like... Being the enemy. And having, oh no. And having guys shooting Red Candles at you. Get them, Spider! Jump around! Shoot them! Don't you dare champion me. If there's a champion, I'm dead. I am a dead boy. These meat wheels, man. The meat wheels are a nightmare. Incarnate. Iron bar? I mean, with our tier stat, I'm looking, I'm looking at lost contact, but iron bar is a damage upgrade in concussive tiers, which is great. I could have re-rolled it. I could have. Very, very easily. I know. See from my side, though. Guaranteed damage increase. And concussive tears, which is a great status effect. Oh, this is a secret room. 
All right, so I'm gonna explain what I'm doing here real quick. I'm gonna bomb this first. Uh, and hopefully they don't, they push the button. I'm so mad because they pushed it out of order. Fuck, this thing is a secret. It's an AR, it's, it's, it's part of the access to getting the second knife piece. This is what I meant by like, I'm not gonna be able to do it in the right thing. So look at this room real quick and tell me what the solution would be. I'll tell you in about four seconds. You have to push them in a certain order. You have to listen to the pebbles. Pebble, see how the one on the bottom left has one pebble next to it? Bottom, top right has two pedal, pebbles. Top left has three pebbles and bottom has four pedals. You gotta push them in that order. Super cool. Super, super cool. Don't you dare do this to me, game. The tough twins. Awesome boss mechanics here. Gotta throw bombs at him. There's these pink bombs, which are new to anti-birth. I took damage there, that was real dumb. But luckily we got Mr. Intruder here, giving me the giving me the clutch KOs. We got the matchbook, which is decent. No deal. Oh, it's a curse of the XL? Pardon? Uh, pardon? We still have a- we still have an item room. I was not privy to this level decision. We still have an item room. Interesting. Is it up here? That's a challenge room. That's close. God, these guys will never fear they still shoot shit. Man, you're just you're just too strong, buddy. <sighs> That's a good trinket. Not gonna take it. Oh, they freaking I already got both item rooms. I got Iron Bar and Tough Love. You guys. Let's be fair, this is why you watch me. This is why you've been here the last 27 minutes was to laugh at the decisions that I make in this game and mock me out loud. So that means we're gonna get two Mines bosses back to back. What are we gonna get next? Is it the Gideon? It's the Great Gideon. This is another great fight. This is a wave-based fight. He actually has no, he only has HP that disappears upon killing the waves he summons. Awesome fight, awesome fight. But he also does shit on his own. So it's not like he's just a pushover. He does his own stuff. Throws out fire, spits tears. This is a very interesting fight. Oh boy, this is... That's just a strange, awful, awful wave, if you ask me. No, 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 not like this. Not like this game. Thank you. Just don't corner yourself against the, the wall. Which is also just not cornering, that's backing yourself against the wall. Super Bandito. Super Bandito. <laughs> Let me be excited, game. There's an interesting thing you can do with this boss. I actually have a video of it on my, uh, on my channel. If you kill him with a Chaos card, something interesting happens. Oh boy, let's do it. Oh gosh, here we go into the mausoleum. Arguably a lot of people's favorite level in the anti-birth pack, and arguably some people's favorite music track in the whole pack. Machine in the Walls is a great music track. Taking some awful damage. Oh, I forgot how freaking evil some of these enemies are. We could very well die here. Oh, well that was probably the most worth it anything's ever been, if you're asking me personally. Yep, there you go. Oculus doing its job. I can't see their shadows. You guys make me made me turn up the gamma. I can't see their shadows. I blame y'all in the comments for making me turn up the gamma. Turn up the gamma, Penta! I can't see the mom's mom shadows. 
I'm just kidding, of course. Those guys give you fear, which means you can't shoot. Those uh, skeletons. Those floaty boys. You guys ready for something really cool here? Swim. 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 Nice. I realize very, very much so that a lot of people in the comments, those whippers, man, are so evil. I realize a lot of people in the comments are already adjusted to anti-birth, and I sound overly excited for the mod, and I'm trying to be a little too tutori tutorialize -y. I get it. Uh, but at the same time, like, most of, some of it's me just being excited again to see this stuff. But also, there's probably, there's probably some people. Let me know in the comments below if this is your first time seeing anti-birth. I would love to know. The soul? Give me that soul. Matchstick is good, but like curved horn is it's it's just it's just the best. Bad gas and range up. I'll take a range up peel. Shopperino has. Eh, I just donate actually as much as I can. I don't need the money. I can guarantee we're gonna need that money later on in a different run. These guys just spawn fires, I believe. They could be a pain in the ass in the, if they're in a room with a bunch of other bad guys, but in that room we were lucky. Having just a couple of enemies to deal with. Or a couple of non-aggressive, non-aggro enemies to deal with. Oh, uh, I gotta explore the rest of the floor, though. I should leave. I really should just fight the boss and get out of here. But I explore the rest of the floor. That's just so cool. That's just so cool. Being frank, that's just, that's just so cool. Oh, those guys, the priests. They give enemies shields. Gotta kill them first. Of course, it's Envy. You gonna give me Shoop? If you give me Shoop, I'm rolling it. I hope you know that. Not leave is not good, though. Not leave is good in a pinch. But I would not say it's like a, a top tier item. It's good in a pinch, but it just makes it makes so many runs boring. I'm not I'm not innocent, of course. I'm not innocent at all about like the 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 Nod Leaf meta of like beating a hush run or a lost victory or something with Nod Leaf. Of course I'm not not innocent there. I've done it. I've done it. Everybody's done it. If you say you haven't done it, you're lying. Shot speed up, of course. Pop Guppy's head once. I don't see any tinted rocks here. We'll get the penny, don't worry. There is a tinted rock here, of course there is. I would have been really shocked if there wasn't one in here. Like, there's a whole other side of the floor. You can see it on the map. That's that what that purple teleporter room that is. That is, it takes us to another side of the floor. Mausoleums are gigantic. The floors, anyway, they generally have, like, secret rooms and stuff on the other side. Uh, occasionally, they have multiple curse rooms, multiple shops. They can have multiple item rooms, even without being Curse of the XL. Which is why the Mausoleum is, a, like, a favorite amongst people. Is Not only does it have the interesting mechanics of, like, the teleporting and stuff, but it's just... It's just, a, it could be a game changer, depending on who you are. Donate a little more money to that guy. Get some, uh... Well, I forgot about the Dargons. That's, that's one bad guy I forgot about, was the Dragons. Shit, that sucks. 
forgot about those guys. How did I forget about them? I mean, we have a very positive run here. Don't shield this guy. Just, just get killed. Donka. There's no reason to go in here. That was very stupid on my part. Can I salvage this? I think I can salvage this. I just don't want to go in this big room because it's probably not worth it. Oh my god. Doesn't this room have like a massive secret if I make it through the whole thing? Nope. Ruined. Now there's just be a bunch of bad guys in it. And ultra. Like, what is. <laughs> ultra lust and lust? Or super lust and lust? What is this nonsense? Oh, bad trip. There you go. Fuck, yeah, because you have to beat them to hit the button. I don't remember what the button does. I don't I think I've seen this room before. Like, maybe one time. Yeah, there was no reason to come back here except for me taking idiot damage. Oh boy, this could run. This could this could run. This could end very poorly on the boss. I gotta go this way. Bum, 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 bum. You're probably right. Bomb blue fires. Do your do your do your due diligence to not die, of course. Try to prevent your death as much as possible. So no double item rooms. No, no we got. We did uh, get double shop. No, don't take that. That's the worst decision. No. There you go. That's the worst decision. Spiders. Ah, damn it. I was hoping for two pennies at the very minimum to buy that soul heart. The Siren! Oculus is not actually helping us there. It actually almost killed us. For those astute people that have been watching all the content on the channel, or at least most of the content on the channel, you can be very, very uh, aware that this character is a direct reference to... Song of the Siren is unlocked. Direct reference to the... Oh, my brain died. The... No, 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 no. You don't understand. Take it. Drop it. Roll it. Take it. A direct reference to the gore gun from Enter the Gungeon. Some of the attack patterns and stuff like that are a reference from a... Uh, or not a reference from Gungeon, but... Not that they're not... What I'm trying to say is they're not intentional. The patterns are similar, though. I believe they they are a reference directly to Gungeon, though. Because the Siren was added afterwards. I believe they, they were uh, inspired by the the Gorgons. Uh, I, won't, I won't say that that is a for sure absolute 100% thing, but I will say that that is a... Uh, what I, rem what I remember being the case was that they added the siren in post release. Oh, shit. We're already here? No. And, uh, it was an in influence from, uh, from the gungeon. Zappy boy, you gotta die. Thank you for getting the penny. All right. I mean, we're very strong. Like, don't let me don't let me say that this run is bad or anything. This run is very good. It's just, oh god, it's just we're playing poorly. Coupled with the fact that that's bad gas, isn't it? Yeah. Coupled with the fact that 
Oh, not the worms. I actually think I got hit by the neutral fly. I think I got hit by the eternal fly there. That's unfortunate. No, don't break it. That's a secret room, but I'm not even going to bother with it right now. Because there's no point at this juncture. I'll show you guys eventually. Skipping the item room here would be a very bad decision. But backtracking is also incredibly frustrating because I'm hungry. Which is just the most menial of bullshit you guys don't care about. Oh, he's hungry. Yeah, he's a freaking privileged ass YouTuber. That's not at all. At all. I'm just hungry. I started recording the, my first thing in the morning was to record these uh, last two episodes to get them prepped because I'm because oh, I'm making a big. Don't get me wrong. I love distant admiration. I love distant admiration. It's probably one of my favorite orbitals, but cricket, baby, cricket. You can't go wrong with the cricket. It's my favorite item in the game. And we're just gonna go. We're just out of here. We are just straight up out of here, and you're gonna love the boss fight. You're gonna love the boss fight. We might die, but you're gonna like the boss fight nonetheless. So Cricket's gonna help us here. Yeah. Oh, I actually, yeah, it's been, it's been a year. I completely forgot. We won though. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the chest, obviously. Oh, Krampus. Unless you're Lump of Coal, get, get re-rolled. Oh, it's old Krampus, which means he's good. Lump of Coal. Yeah, I'm not going to re-roll Lump of Coal. Uh, if it was Krampus' head, of course, it's going to get re-rolled. Uh, four bombs. Four potential couple spirit hearts. I mean... I get made fun of a lot. <laughs> because I completely flip-flop on what I call them. Soul hearts, spirit hearts, blue hearts. I call them all three of those. With no, no rhyme or reason. Most times. Oh, yeah, donate. Arcade music is so good in this damn thing. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Could have been Steven. You gotta try for the Steven plate. I'm gonna poot on you. And then I'm gonna too spoopy these guys, because too spooky is, like, a really good item for stuff like this. Man, I forgot that our first devil deal was so good. Our first devil deal was uh, Fear Shot and uh, I Oculus. That was just a great first uh, first deal. We'll do some angel runs, don't you worry. I know everybody's like, well, Penta, you're taking a lot of de you're taking a lot of devil deals. You're like the angel room guy. And Anti Birth actually fixed angel rooms, so there's definitely going to be some angel runs. Anti Birth fixed angel rooms. Uh, they're super good. The angel items that were added into them make them, you know, depending on who you ask, much more comparable to, like, uh, you know, an average devil deal. I personally think anti-burst angel rooms, just like, just like normal Isaac, I think the angel rooms are much better in a terms of, like, overall potency. Like, granted, there are some super, like, you know, damage, you know, damage-wise, there are some very strong items in the devil pool, but... when you're talking just, like, overall what's gonna affect your run the most, angel rooms... You got the body, you got the soul, you got the mind, you got Sacred Heart, Godhead, uh, Sensor is amazing. Uh, Glyph of Balance, depending on your run, it just gives you what you need on your run, like... There's, there's so many good Angel Rooms items. The only issue with a lot of people in Angel Rooms is the fact that, for the longest time, Angel Rooms were almost not worth going to, because it was always one item, and... More often times than not, it was the one item that on your run you didn't need because you didn't have a choice. And obviously, Rebirth Angel meta was kind of messed up. They fixed that, though. Uh, thankfully, with the uh, Afterbirth changes to Sacrifice Rooms, which is not an Anti-Birth, but we deal with it because Angel Rooms are better in Anti-Birth. <laughs> There's our boss. That was very dumb damage, actually. But here we go. Oculus making this a very, very uh, interesting boss fight, but that's a uh, 
That's okay. Let's go on up to the chest here. Or cathedral, rather. Take a drink. I haven't drank for like 40 minutes. Penta, we don't care about your drinking problem. I do. This is an unfortunate situation to be in. Come up here, Mask. Come up here. Come over here. Well, you know... Sometimes... Sometimes you run the run, and other times the run runs you. God damn it, we are one heart away from dying. I'm pretty sure we only have one heart left. Could this be the end? Is this the end of Penta? Is he about doomed? Is he going to die? Is he going to perish, or is he going to pull it out and be the most successful Isaac player that has ever touched the earth? Most likely, probably die. This room confirms that, pretty much. We did it. We didn't get a soul heart, though. Balls of steel, speed up! This room, no! Not like this. Not like this game. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Penta! Range up! <laughs> All those range ups! Save me range. I have so much range, range I can make a range burrito! I don't have any bombs. It's fine. I don't need bombs. I just need determination! I actually do need bombs, though, because this is amazing. Don't you dare give me a chest. I don't know if I only have one heart. I'm pretty sure I do, though. Let's be fair. I probably only have one heart. He was feared! Monstro and the fear was... It was too good. It was too good. Also, Monstro and the fear. One of my favorite boy bands. I need an Oculus shot, like, ASAP. Get into your phase, buddy. Get into your next phase. Thank you. We can handle him in this phase. Fuck me! <laughs> Holy shit! Maybe we can't, because I, I, I panicked at the disco. Oh, 100% of the disco. I thought we had one heart left. Apparently we didn't, so that's good news. Uh, we probably only have one heart left now. Yep, one heart left now. All right, so we are here. Uh, these are all horrible. Reroll. Dr. Fetus. Uh, it's bad in Rebirth, so I'm not taking it. These are all really bad, so I'm going to pass on them all. And I'm going to do the riskiest thing in the world. I'm going to farm some battery charges. And hopefully items. I have two luck. I mean... Something... That's not... That's not what we need. <sighs> Come on, game. Just give me... Give me some. Some. That's a penny. Thank you. I appreciate it. Greed. What the fuck? That was the luckiest. Did you see the soul deflection there? That soul deflection saved my butt. That soul deflection might have been the best soul deflection in the world, and then I botched it by walking into a troll bomb. But you know what? That was a good run. That was a very good run. And you know what? It's all good. We weren't going to unlock anything anyway, because we were playing as Isaac. So you know what? I don't know, let's play Bethany next time. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll do some next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, you know what to do down below. My name is Spencer Iber, and I will catch you in the next episode.